Welcome back to video three. This one's going to be short. And Lulu was sitting in my spot, so I had to pick her up. Um, in this one, I wanna talk about um, where we are now um, <clears throat> and looking forward. We have an old world, right? Um, our old way of life, our, our old world is gone. It's different now. Uh, what we were doing, we're not doing anymore. And so, uh, we need to look at what's next. The new world will emerge and we will find our way. We'll have to figure it out. Uh, and we just don't know at this time. And we really don't know what's next, right? Uh, we're keeping up to date as best that we can. This is an emotional time. Um, I watched a really good video and I will share that if you want. <clears throat> and he said, the world is grieving. We are going through a grieving process. Um, and that is because we have lost what we had and we don't know what to do. The five steps in the grieving process, I've heard of many times. Uh, I know my mom went through it and and some other people. And, and the first one is denial, okay? Where denial is like, oh, it's not that bad. Kind of where New York got. I'm not going to do any blaming here, but like in 1918, New York thought that it wasn't going to hit them, right? And so certain city leaders were out there saying, go ahead and live your life like you have been, go to movies, do this, that, whatever. Um, so they're in denial. <clears throat> Interruption. And so we think it won't happen to us, right? Okay, that's denial. The next one is anger and anxiety. Um, you know, how did this happen? Uh, what will happen? And this is where fear kind of creeps in. And then we hit depression. Um, there's a new way and we can't go to the old way and, and we're stuck inside our houses and we can't, you know, see our parents and our grandkids and, and friends and stuff. And we don't know what to do with ourselves, right? And so depression kind of sinks in. And then the last one, not the last one, the next one, sorry, is bargain. We bargain, right? We push the envelope. Uh, we we want to do what we we were doing. And we again, we don't think it's it's going to hit us. We, we make bargains, right? Well, I'm just going to go here and I'm just going to go there and it'll be fine. We bargain with life. Um, and this fits in with what's called normally bias. Um, it's where we're living as normal as possible in the presence of a situation that's anything but normal. Okay, we can't go back, you know, it's, it's all new for us. And so the last one is acceptance. Um, we're doing what we need to do to survive. And at, when you accept it, <clears throat> you're not pushing it away. And you're doing what you're told a lot of people don't like that. I think that, um, you know, people get upset with, with uh, you know, the government, whether it's state or local, state, federal, whatever, because they don't like to be told what to do. But you need to accept this is where we're at and you need to do what you need to do and deal with it um, for your, you know, your society, your, your family, your household. Where are you? Um, personally... I think, I know I was in denial at first. I was like, this isn't new. This is like the flu. Get over it. I, I did that. And then I, I was kind of anx anxious because I, I hear that, you know, it can affect people with asthma. And, and my mom is elderly. What is this going to do to her? And then depression. Mm, I definitely hit depression a couple days ago. I really did. I started feeling depressed about what what isn't. And there's also the anxiety of we, we you know we what's next? We don't know what's next, you know. And that can cause a lot of anxiety. I remember when I had DVT and I got depression, my doctor put me on a pill and boy did it help. It took the weight of the world off my shoulders. I know people don't like that, but I don't care. It helped me. But he told me, "Cindy, it's the unknown." That's what's got you so anxious is the unknown. You don't know what's going to happen next. And I didn't. I could read all I wanted, but I didn't really know what was going to happen to me in particular. 
Okay, so we're trying to live in a world that no longer exists and we can't go back. Um, you know, everything we do is changed. Like, we're going to emerge into this new world. Do you think airlines are going to do the same thing they always did? Do you think the subways are going to do things they always did? Do you think, you know, the stores are going to do things? Nobody's going to do things the way they used to. We've all learned a new way of cleaning and sanitizing and protecting ourselves, right? And so how we do business, everything is going to change and we are going to be in a different place and we just don't know what that place is, but we're finding our way. We're learning. You need to let go of the idea of what should be and live in the presence of what is happening right now. And that's where acceptance comes in, right? And so <clears throat> what this um, global pandemic has done is it has ex exposed the cracks in society, in government. Uh, it's exposed the cracks in our own lives and the only thing we can do is to make things better. And there's so many people out there that are putting out information to help us do that. We just need to listen. Figure out where you are in your steps. And you can't bypass these steps. You can't take shortcuts. This is physiological and probably psychological too, these, these grieving steps. And so you need to recognize where you're at and what's the next one on the list? Oh, okay. And and you need to do what it takes to get through this and help your friends and family through it too. I want to leave you with a verse <clears throat> because I believe that the Bible is good for instruction. And this is what this verse says. In every situation, present yourself to God and the peace of God that transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and minds. I think I missed a word there. Sorry about that. In other words, if you give your situation to God and understand that he will take care of you, it will give you a peace that only God can give. Nobody on earth can give you that kind of peace. Be blessed.